In addition to TLC, there are several other common types of chromatography. For each method, we'll discuss the typical stationary and mobile phases and discuss whether it is usually used for analysis or as a purification technique. Thin layer chromatography, or TLC, typically uses silica gel as the stationary phase, but alumina TLC plates are also available. As shown previously, a tiny drop of a solution carrying the sample to be analyzed is placed near one end of the TLC plate, and the plate is placed into a shallow pool of organic solvent in order for the chromatographic separation to take place. TLC is primarily used as an analytical tool, but larger plates with thicker layers of silica gel can be used to actually separate the components of a mixture. This is called preparative TLC. Column chromatography is the method most often used to separate and purify mixtures of organic compounds. Larger columns can even handle kilogram scale samples. Like TLC, column chromatography uses an organic solvent mobile phase and either silica gel or alumina as the stationary phase. The silica is poured into a glass column, the sample is introduced to the top of the silica by pipette, and the solvent is passed down through the column, either by gravity or by using a compressed gas, called flash column chromatography. As the solvent exits the bottom of the column, the components of the mixture are eluded as well. In an ideal column, the various components come off the column one at a time, since each is traveling at a different rate. The eluent is continuously collected in separate containers, called fractions, which effectively separates and purifies each component of the mixture. High Performance Liquid Chromatography, or HPLC, uses the same principles as column chromatography. While it can be used preparatively, its small scale usually lends itself to analytical applications. A small amount of sample is introduced via syringe to a very long, narrow tube filled with packing material typically silica gel. To save space, the tube is kept coiled up like a garden hose. A pump is used to force a liquid through the column and a detector at the end records both the quantity of each component and the time it took to travel through the column, called the retention time. Various aqueous, aqueous solutions are used as mobile phases for HPLC, including buffers and those containing water-soluble organic solvents, such as methanol. Gas chromatography, or GC, methods are very similar to HPLC, but the column is made of metal or glass and is contained in an oven. Once the sample to be analyzed is injected, it is vaporized and carried through the column by a gas, such as helium. Separation occurs when the sample is partitioned between the gaseous mobile phase and the stationary phase. The stationary phase can be a liquid or a solid that is either packed into the column or that coats the walls of an extremely narrow tube called a capillary column. When coupled with a mass spectrometer, the resulting GCMS is a powerful analytical tool for the separation of a mixture and the identification of its components. Like TLC and HPLC, GC is primarily used for analysis, but it can be used to recover the separated components by placing a cooled trap at the exit when each component is expected to leave the column. This is referred to as preparative or PREP GC.